What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel on a set of Corsa in a public lobby. Uh, we are going to be just doing different views today and talking a little bit about views and why I like them and why I don't. We are rocking the real head motion with our fan attack rig. So we're going to go have a little fun with this. See if we can't throw in some tandems here in a random server. We are in a 350Z. Looks like that GTR wants to throw in doors behind us. He was tandeming with us a little bit ago. Oh, all right. So, a lot of people have been uh, talking to me with me going into competition in Bushido style this weekend, trying to uh, qualify. I've been getting that Corvette dialed in. Finally got the Corvette pretty much dialed, and my line pretty much dialed in. Oh, for that track. As long as I do my part. We should be good. I had to restart the car. We should be good. So as long as I can do my part and get my line down for my qualifying runs, I should be okay. It's chasing. Um, I'm getting more comfortable in the chase position. Not 100%, but I will get there. So like I said, a lot of people have been telling me to change my view for competition and not use in-car with real head motion. So I do love the immersiveness of in car real head motion but like I think I've said before in a few videos I prefer if I had my oculus which hopefully I'll be getting here next month because the real head motion doesn't really look where I would naturally look um, I know some people be like oh it's perfect it looks where you know it needs to personally I like to look around more especially when I'm tandeming and stuff like that I like to look straight where to point where I'm going as well as look you know at the cars around me and everything like that so it naturally doesn't look I mean it's very amazing I love real head motion makes drifting so much more fun we just got bumped here in a seto but the view that everybody's to tell me to start doing is roof view with real head motion for competition because it gives you a better perspective of what's going on around you and how close you are in chase and for a competitive style, we're just throwing laps right now. We're just throwing lead lines for this man behind us. And he's kind of sticking with us. Definitely going to want to check the replay and see how close he actually was. That's a little bit of a curve hop. We're good. So everyone's been telling me to go roof cam with real head motion and stuff like that. And I've been testing it. And I personally have found I do like it. Now, I know I'm going to get blasted in the comments for this. But... My uh, argument is if, if I had the Oculus, I wouldn't be doing that because I would be able to look where I would naturally, personally look. Ooh, we took that one a little bit shallow. But I do still love throwing doors in car with real head motion. Now, advantage of being on roof cam. If you're not used to a certain drive car, like left-hand drive or right-hand drive car, that doesn't mean anything when you're in roof cam because, well, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, oh, oh. Difference for the aspect of right or left-hand drive cars. Is that grinding of a gear? I think that was. So this man just wants to uh, tandem behind us, which whatever, we're talking, having a little fun, just getting sideways. So back to views so you have in car with real head motion looks amazing it's so much fun it's very immersive would be better with VR obviously we're gonna try uh, run this lap with less e-brake try run this middle section without e-brake the left foot brake, there we go. Left foot brake and clutch. We can do it. I don't know about this turn though. Ah, we good. So we're gonna do one more lap like this and we're gonna switch it up to roof with real head motion and see the difference because a lot of people have been telling me to do that for a competition style and 
I know, like I said, I'm going to get blasted in the comment section because people are like, oh, well, why, why would you run in-car another rip to another uh, loss of a user to roof cam? But if I want to be really, really competitive, I feel like everybody in those competitions, VDC and stuff, if they don't run an Oculus, they run roof cam with head motion. It's just a better perspective for you to be able to see. I'm gonna blast our way into pits real quick. Change up our view. So let me know what you guys think. What view do you guys run? Because I'm very curious what everybody is actually running. All right, so now we're gonna go just move ourselves up to roof. Move ourselves up to the roof. We're gonna save that. And we're gonna send it now with roof cam with the real head motion we can see if we can't maybe chase this chase this man so from a view aspect you can see more of the course you can see a little bit better if you're chasing which nobody seems to want to chase me today Everybody seems to just want to follow me. And I w when I was testing my Bushido style car, I did find out that my lines are a lot better in this view. And I think it's just because I have more of visual cues. And I don't seem to over angle as much as you can see, that first turn was almost perfect. I don't seem to over angle as much in this view as I would in first person because, like I said, in car with the real head motion, it doesn't turn where I would naturally look. So it kind of throws off my judgment of angle. Um, I have drifted in an Oculus. I have drifted for many hours in an Oculus when my buddy brought his over, and it was just too much fun. So that's why I'm super excited to be doing an Oculus here in the next you know couple weeks and hopefully we'll be able to uh, just throw even more immersion into the mix with the oculus and see when you're in tandem in the hood view with head motion it's you kind of get a better feel for it and he just doesn't want to go We got the Skyline man behind us again, throwing doors. Definitely going to have to try to throw some of the replay clips in at the end of this episode for you guys so you guys can see the full outer view of this man chasing me because I don't know how good he is. He might be doing amazing chasing me. It looks like he is. So definitely going to be throwing ooh, some of the replay angles in for you guys at the end of this episode so you guys can see some other view. But this is probably a discussion that's been through the Assetto Corsa community so many times before, which view is better? And I think it's more of a personal preference. I know some people, you know, hate on, ooh, a little bit of lag. Some people hate on the roof cam drivers, but I mean, a lot of people hated on, hated on me when I drove in Forza 7 in third person because I had a wheel. And they're like, oh, who, drive, who rides a wheel with in third person? Well, it's just personal preference. And, you know, for visually, it was, better for you guys to see and I think roof cam let me know what you guys think is it more visually appealing in this roof cam with head motion or first person now oculus is going to be making a whole whole different ball game I don't think I'd be running an oculus on the roof because that would just make me probably puke and feel very very weird there we go but I feel like ooh, I'm getting bumped I feel like my lines are much smoother in the roof cam than they are in first person, but I did, like I said, it's because I over rotate too much in first because I, I'm not, I don't have those visual cues. And without having a motion rig or any type of physical cues in the seat to tell me how much the car's angling, like you would get in a real car. It's all judged on visual, and the more visual you have, the easier it is to drive. So, unless you just do hours and hours and hours of in-car 
and you're just super used to it, as many visual cues as you can have, the better. I want this man to chase me. I want this man to lead. But apparently he does not want to lead. See, that's the problem with some online sessions when they find a person that can run a good lead run. Everybody just wants to chase. Nobody wants to throw a lead down or switch it up with you. You know, they find somebody that can run a you know baller leads and they're like, I'm just gonna chase this man forever. So let me know in the comments what you guys think, view versus driving style, and make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Just let me know. I'm very curious and see what your guys' take on it. I know some people, like I said, will probably blast me in the comments for running roof view. But, you know, it's personal preference and it's just, it's more visually appealing and more visually cued. Having more to be able to see than when you're in the cockpit with real head motion. So, as always, I like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. I'm going to send some of these uh, replay clips for you guys. So thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. We'll see you guys on the next one.